are you? My name is Pinky Galani and you are watching Pinky TV. This is What Women Want. And if you're joining us on Facebook, make sure you drop a comment and let us know where you are watching from. And if you are on YouTube, subscribe to this channel and be the first to catch more conversations like this. Also, don't forget to drop a comment and like and share this video as well. On this show, we have conversations with people about hope, resilience and excellence. And we aim to inspire you to find out who you are by internalizing the discussion we have over here today to make you discover yourself. How? Well, I encourage you to watch the show all the way till the end. These conversations are brought to you by SBM Bank. And don't forget to watch uh, for your chance to win a phone with Safaricom. Also, you can tag five of your friends to watch the show to win some diamonds. They say diamonds are a girl's best friend and art or jewelers are giving you a chance to win. This is a special episode of What Women Want and we're so glad that we are joined by our guest today. Day. Moez Mayer is the CEO at SBM Bank Kenya. He is an experienced and dynamic banker with a wealth of experience in the corporate and investment banking in East Africa. Before joining SBM Bank in October 2018, Moez worked with KCB Bank Group for a period of 11 years, where he served as the director corporate banking for the group from 2016 to 2018. Prior to that, he was the MD to KCB Bank in Tanzania from 2011 to 2016. Moez has served as a member of the Governing Council of Tanzania Bankers Association and is currently a member of the Governing Council of the Kenya Bankers Association. Moez holds a bachelor's degree in economics from Kingston University and has attended the Global Executive Development Program from the Gordon Institute of Business Science. Welcome, Moez. Thanks, Pinky. Should I say boss? Are you not my at big all. boss? <laughs> not at all. I'm a very casual person. <laughs> you know, Moez, every time I, I have a gentleman who's sitting across from me on what women want, I have to ask him this question. So I hope you don't mind that we go off topic a little bit. What do women want? What do women want? Um, you know, to be honest with you, I think more than uh, gender equality, um, women want gender parity. And I think that's what, what I, I strongly believe in. And it's about developing women in uh, the context of uh, um, education, in, uh, in, 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 in ability to be equal in, uh, in, in the job market, uh, ability to earn equal salaries from the male. And I think that's what uh, the, uh, um, the, the motto for the International Women's Day was uh, for 2020, was uh, each for equal. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Well, you had it in the back of your mind. And that was a good answer, Moez. I could see why you are where you are. Um, and, you know, you're also a father to a daughter who I'm sure you're empowering in your own way. I am. And I think that's um, such a wake up uh, for me as an individual is what is the world that I would like to leave behind for my daughter? Yeah. And is it a fair world uh, for her? Absolutely. Um, so a lot of my drive as an individual is towards ensuring that what I'm able to leave behind gives my daughter an equal opportunity to the men in the world. Yeah. And this is the, the thing I say with, you know, fathers of today, they're very present, very aware. So kudos to you. Thank you. Thank I'd you. love to know because we've heard so much about SBM Bank. Who is SBM? So great. I mean, SBM, uh, we're, we're, we're a group based out of Mauritius. We've been in operation since 1973. Um, we have presence in Kenya, Mauritius, um, Madagascar and in India. Uh, we are listed on the Stock Exchange of Mauritius um, since 1995. Our group balance sheet stands at uh, um, approximately 7 billion US dollars. So, so, so we're a large, large group um, um, looking at uh, um, driving the trade within the Indian Ocean Rim uh, with our presence countries. Um, in Kenya, we are uh, in operation in uh, through 46 branches um, and uh, you know really driving uh, trade between uh, ourselves and uh, our countries of presence um, whilst also providing uh, all the uh, commercial uh, uh, banking facilities to the retail SME and the corporate client. Uh, I know that SBM is really big on you know the 
uh, gender and inclusivity. Um, but again, just, just so we know you a bit more better, tell us about yourself and the women who have shaped your life. Brilliant. So um, who is Moez? You know, I'm a family man. I love my family. Um, you know, any time I do get to spend with the family, um, I try to make the most of it. Uh, we love the outdoors. Um, we love nature. Um, again, inspired by Wangari Mathai um, in terms of uh, the environment and, uh, and appreciation of nature. Um, I love to travel. Um, and I think COVID has really woken up our, um, inspired us to be able to explore what we have in Kenya a lot more. So we've been spending a lot more time, you know, uh, exploring Kenya and exploring what we have uh, as a country, which is absolutely beautiful. Um, I love um, appreciating different cultures through travel as well. And, uh, um, you know, when we do get the opportunity, we try and pack up and uh, travel um, to far corners of the world. So that's me in a nutshell. Um, um, inspiration in family, wow. So, you know, on a family perspective, you know, I, I really pay homage to our, to my mother to start off with. I think she was the first woman that I interacted with as a child and she used her wisdom to be able to teach us uh, about um, um, gender equality. I mean, surprisingly, we picked it up at a very, very young age. And, uh, and the reason we actually picked it up was because uh, her, she, you know, at that time in her life, her family gave the opportunity to, to, to all the girls in the family, and they had, a, you know, quite a few um, sisters um, um, who had the opportunity to educate themselves and uh, to get into the workplace um, in a time when it was not um, common for a lot of these women to get uh, uh, to get into in, 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 in the work stream. So. You know, um, great homage to her, massive homage to my wife, uh, Miss Vaj. Um, she's been a great inspiration. Um, she's um, a very strong person in terms of uh, um, her ability to deal with issues and to deal with uh, um, um, complexities in life. And she's been an anchor. She's 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 been a career woman all her life, and she I've seen how she's transitioned from. Uh, uh, a career-oriented uh, woman into setting up her own business and, and, and driving a business, dealing with children at the same time and finding balance within that. So that's kind of really made me appreciate, you know, and in, in, in one of the questions that I ask is, you know, in the work front, every woman probably runs two shifts. Mm -hmm. You know, it's the work, you know, at work, and then you have uh, the shift at home. Yeah. And, and, and she does it seamlessly. Um, I only got to uh, appreciate it uh, from working from home and you know when uh, when we were there working from home and uh, got to see her handle that uh, amicably action, yeah. yeah in action and finally is my daughter who's who aspires me to create a better world as I said you know yeah. um, into the future uh, Wangari Mathai to me is uh, um, uh, an inspirational lady um, and a, a true icon, um, not just for women in this world, but for men as well. And her ability to, you know, climb and, and, and come over so many hurdles and never lose hope. Uh, what she's done is exceptional. Being the first uh, Nobel Peace Prize woman from Africa is, uh, is, is, is exceptional. Yeah. yeah. So just, you know, sort of just staying here, especially in regards to your personal life, you've, you've also talked to me off camera that you are, um, you have a son. Yes. And we've just heard about how you have been inspired by your mother um, in regards to, you know, appreciating women who uh, surround you, whether it's in a personal or professional manner. But what are you as a dad teaching your son on how he needs to value and appreciate women. I think the first and foremost for me, what's important for him is to, to, to realize that they're equal and that we're equal, that him and his sister are, are one and yeah. are equal. I think his sister does a much better job to making sure that, you know, she's <laughs> above him as opposed to being an equal, but uh, that's another story. Um, and I think it's, it's, it's important for fathers of today to really impress upon children, both male and female, um, um, in terms of respecting one another. Um, we may have differences, 
but we have a commonality and 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 we must respect that and we must respect that we may do things differently right so that's the kind of things that i would like to inspire my son to be able to uh, instill in himself amazing so my daughter my my husband tells my my son who's 5 uh when we leave the house you are in charge and my daughter questions him my daughter's 10 she's like <laughs> why is he in charge why am i not in charge i'm older and more responsible <laughs> so it's good that that generation is actually questioning the narrative yeah, very questioning i mean yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it's it's amazing the kind of questions that come up yeah. i don't remember and they're, bringing these they're valid you know valid they're not questions, questions and very knowledge yes. i mean uh, uh, kudos to the schools and the and the teaching that they get um yes. you know so it's yeah. it's interesting it's amazing so what would you say has hindered the growth of women in the workplace it's an interesting question pinky i think um one is um historically there's been a stereotype um which i'm so glad to see is 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 now diminishing um second which is again a very interesting area is, is the work hours um you know i i don't feel that the work hours traditionally are conducive for women um and uh, you know if i use my own personal view of what i see at home um you know my wife's up early prepping the kids getting them ready making sure she's able to get onto her uh, uh work um um can we have more flexible hours uh, uh for women t- to be able to drive the objectives as opposed to take off working hours um i also feel that you know outside of the workplace um kenya uh we are we are blessed with an entrepreneurial spirit and we have massive massive uh um uh numbers uh, particularly even in women who are entrepreneurs and uh, you know you just need to get into this uh social media space and mm-hmm. on facebook and you see all the trade and business happening um and it's important for us to be able to also empower uh, entrepreneurs um and and taking it a step further moving from the urban areas and into the rural areas where the micro SMEs um exist and how and what can we do towards empowering the women in uh, in our rural homes and uh, how can they be able to empower themselves to feed their children and to inspire their children right. to become uh, uh gender sensitive mm-hmm. amazing um when we're talking about SBM bank and you know uh maybe the the growth of women in the workplace one thing that um will come up probably top of the mind is maternity leave versus paternity leave and i you know i have some just over here what what i've been given is japan gets up to 7 months paid paternity leave in finland it's 7 months if the parent is a single parent for maternity leave um estonia has 19 months sweden 15 and a half months norway 13 months and then croatia the uk and serbia have one year what is sbm bank doing in regards to to maternity leave so we provide 4 months of maternity leave plus we offer pro- provide flexi hours thereafter uh for nursing mothers we have a nurse, nursing stations in 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 some of our facilities oh. we also have a crash um and a, and a daycare center for both um our male and uh, uh female um um parents, parents. yeah um yes so. that's interesting um there you know there is this big argument that when the husband looks after the the kids he's babysitting <laughs> but he's not he's actually parenting <laughs> very true what is the impact of the covid-19 pandemic to women in the workplace it's an interesting one um i'd like to quote shirley sandberg from facebook ceo and she says mothers were already working a double shift finishing the work day and then coming home to do more housework and childcare true. so you now with corona what you have is a double double shift mm-hmm. facts i mean but that's a woman's thing <laughs> those are those are such facts and and she knows that maybe i i don't know much about her but i wonder if she's a mom yeah but, and i think more than that you know the um you know the work the shift in uh, um the ability what's what's interesting to see is that you know the ability for the women in the workplace to shift into working from home um, um has been quite interesting and exceptional and i think it's a key learning that we want to take um 
as us as an institution and others should be inspired by to realize that actually flexi working hours do work. And uh, um, provided that we're not stifling our staff on an eight to five expectation of work and, 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 and relying on dependencies on achieving objectives, um, that gives the flexibility to the woman in the workplace to be able to work in, at her convenience, but provide and achieve the objectives that are required for her to perform in the workplace. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Yeah, I, um, it's that double double shift that's still sitting in my mind. It is, it is a double double shift and I'm witness to it as well. So, you know, you've spoken about your institution, other institutions um, supporting women, but how do you think they can support women during this pandemic? Well, I think one is that we've really got to be empathetic. Um, it's across the field, I think, uh, for the women and for the men. Um, um, we are, we've all been impacted um, uh, and are working in a very different environment that we were used to um, um, eight months ago. Uh, but uh, I think empathy is very important. Understanding that, um, uh, um, uh, that she is working and dealing on a double-double shift. Um, and to be able to give her the flexibility to be able to deliver over that period of time. Um, I think that's very, very important for us uh, as institutions. Again, providing um, mentorship and ability to uh, speak to them and ask them and allow them to express themselves, um, it's, it's very difficult. I think it's, for men, for myself, for, for other men, um, working from home and the change in the way you work um, um, under the current pandemic circumstances has impacted our, our emotion too. Um, and um, it, it's, it's, no, it's, it's, it's no less for, uh, for the woman in the workplace. So having a hearing um, ear in the organization is also vitally important. So there's the softer things that are very important. And then there are the policy things that need to be considered into, into play as well. Um, what has SBM Bank done for women aside from supporting this show, which I have to say thank you for. By the way, this is, um, I really am so grateful to SBM Bank for supporting these conversations. Thank you, Pinky. And, and we're, we're humbled to be able to have had the opportunity to partner with you on this. And, and, and you know, and you, as you ask, what have we done? I mean, this show for us is, is critically important as well because you are able to showcase and inspire and motivate um, women across not just Kenya, the globe, uh, literally, um, in, 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 in believing in themselves and in driving their ambitions to the next level. Um, and uh, um, that's exceptional. So for us, that's a vitally important part. And what we do is, is the ability to, to, to support women like yourselves to be able to pass that message through. Um, we also work with, uh, uh, we are partner with uh, uh, the She Trades. Um, it's an organization that uh, uh, is funded by the UK um, FCDO um, and uh, that provides a platform for women within the Commonwealth to be able to trade, um, um, network, um, showcase themselves and with that they're able to provide tooling as well to be able to allow women to be able to understand their financial matters, understand their risk areas. So, so, exposures for w women entrepreneurs that may not necessarily be accessible all the time, She Trades is able to provide that. Um, we successfully last year um, carried out a, a, a pop-up market um, and, and, and I was there and it was uh, absolutely inspirational to see women with their wares and their um, um, uh, products um, trading and selling them all through this pop-up market. So not only did it create a an environment to be able to uh, showcase their product, but it allowed them to network amongst themselves as well and uh, create uh, 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 further leads. Um, we're also part of the, um, um, our partner with the African Entrepreneurship Women's Program, the AWEP. And that again, allows us to be able to provide to our customers um, and the women entrepreneurs to be able to develop themselves on, 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 on softer skills, on skills uh, or within the financial, um, uh, basic accounting uh, and, 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 and financial understanding, you know, cash management. Um, so tooling them through that process. Um, 
you know, we are we have an entire department that just handles women's banking, and uh, uh, Margaret manages it exceptionally well. And you know, she's out there, and you probably see her in a lot of the um, a lot a lot of these uh, uh, um, uh, platforms. Um, we are also signatory to the um, UN uh, Women Empowerment Principles, um, so that drives us, and and and. Uh, um, in a sense, forces us to ensure that we are achieving and managing uh, uh, um, certain objectives towards fulfilling these principles, and uh, that, to me, is 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 is, is a great show of uh, of dedication towards uh, uh, the women empowerment and the women parity uh, space. So, as a bank, what areas do you focus on? So um, naturally, we pr provide access to finance um, to women. Uh, we've got a team that supports that. But we're also participating now more in terms of encouraging women uh, um, uh, through our procurement process. So driving women business um, and being a uh, where we can develop suppliers uh, and a chain of suppliers. So we've successfully onboarded uh, um, women businesses as our uh, within our supply chain. Um, Training and development, I think that's one of our fundamental keys as well, that whereby through all these platforms we were able to empower um, our clients and our um, women in business. What is SBM Bank doing to develop the, the, the women in your institution? So as I mentioned, um, you know, we've got 42% of our management uh, uh, team is uh, our women. Um, and we are driving um, Succession planning. I think what's important is to see the management level staff now move into executive positions, and uh, it's my aspiration to see a CEO that's uh, uh, a woman um, in the workplace. And for us to be able to do that and develop that skill set is, is 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 to create a succession planning model, whereby we can instill and empower them through training and development, which would allow them now to compete at par. Um, uh, with males in that same uh, segment. So where do you feel like other institutions are, are lagging behind? Because you seem to be very progressive in regards to you know, the, the whole um, gender portrayal, especially when it comes to SBM Bank. Thank I you. <laughs> um, I, but you know, uh, to be quite honest, I think there are very many organizations here that are, 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 are driving that agenda. Um, Safaricom is doing a successful job on that. Um, KCB as well is doing a great job within that. Um, I think the idea is really, it, it, it begins with a shift in culture. Um, culture change drives everything. Um, so you could have a lot of this in policy, but if you don't drive culture, then um, it's not gonna happen. Peter Drucker's famous words are that um, culture eats strategy for breakfast. No, so, you know, yeah, and if you don't have uh, culture instilled in, in, in your organizations to ensure that this develops and evolves into the objectives that you expect, um, it's, it, it's, it's difficult. Yeah. Wow, Moez, there's so much that I've learned from you today and it's, I think it takes a lot to be in the position that you're in and also as a gentleman to inspire women. That's very thank unique. Thank you. So I just want to say thank you once again, first of all, to, uh, to you and your team for supporting this initiative because these conversations are changing lives. And I'm not just saying this because it's, hey, it's my show, <laughs> <laughs> but it really is. You know, the, the feedback that I'm getting is that um, these conversations are inspiring generations. So thank you to SBM Bank for having the foresight and you know, supporting conversations like this. Uh, before we go, I would love to hear some words of wisdom, you know, a parting shot from Moez Mir. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Pinky. I think, I mean, no parting shots per se, but I think it's just important for us to realize and appreciate that it's our moral and social responsibility as a society, as uh, humans of this world, to empower our mothers, our wives, our sisters, our daughters, to ensure that they are able to instill the same qualities to their children um, to make this a better world. I think that's what we're driven for, is to make this a better world. 
Wow, if I say anything after this, I think I'll just be um, really diluting what, what, what you've just <laughs> said. So thank you so thank much, you. Merce. Thank you for your time. Um, and thank you everyone for watching. Remember, you can win a phone. All you need to do is subscribe. The links are down below. Moez and I would love to hear from you. So Absolutely. make sure you comment and let us know what you thought of this conversation today. Uh, like I said before, these conversations are brought to you by SVM Bank. Thank you. Whoop, whoop, SVM Bank. Thank you once again for your time. I know it's very precious and for you. Uh, to find time to sit down, talk to us about the ethos of yourself and, of course, your bank. It's been very inspiring. And now we know a little bit more about what we are engaging in um, as well. Thank you so much, Moise. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Pinky. Thank here. you for the opportunity. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you again real soon. Bye bye.